Paula Joe from Cedar Quilts with a quick tip Tuesday for you about storing and organizing your designs when you're working on a big quilt with lots of parts and pieces. <laughs> As you're saving your designs, you want to make sure that you're putting them into a folder so that you can find them easily. And preferably, you don't want to be putting it on your computer, on the tablet, but rather on a, a stick, on a USB stick. So. C is for computer and D is for drive. <laughs> My thumb drive, the USB thumb drive is the D. So when you have the design figured to the right size, when you've changed things and you're happy and you've renamed it and you've saved it, you want to be saving it all in one folder. So when you, when you pull up a new design from wherever you're opening things, we have two choices. You have either a C drive or a D drive. C is actually on the computer, and D is your USB stick. But when you select a design from a regular file that's already on your computer, let's just pick one out of HQ, and let's just grab one, and you open it. And now if you change it at all, let's just resize it. Um, let's make it down to six. Okay, and now you're going to uh, baseline it, rename it, and save it. When you save it now, it's going to want to put it back where you found it. But you don't want to be putting a changed design back into the same folder. So there's a, a separate thing here. But instead of putting it back on the C drive, you actually want to go to your D drive and you want to create a new folder and you want to make it your client quilts or your, your current quilt, but you're going to type in a name here, and it doesn't matter what we're, what we're doing. Let's just put in a few letters here, um, and you're going to create this. And now you have a new folder in here, and it will save it to right there. When you save this, it's going to go there. So then you can find it again where you want it. And now, if I'm going to make some more corrections on this, if I'm going to change it again, let's say that I want to um, crop it in some way or if I want to rotate it. You can, you can rotate things just a little bit. Okay, and now I'm going to baseline it, rename it, save it. Now when I go to save it, it's gonna take me back to the folder that I was opening, and there's my first thing that I saved. And now I'm going to rename this slightly different name. And when I save it, now we'll have two things in here. So instead of block 15, I'm going to say um, rotated and save it. Now I have two things in that folder. And you can put quite a few things in there. And then it will go in alphabetical order now. But I have lots of files even within each folder. And so I go under client quilts and then I put in my client's name and I save things um, to, to the file I want. And you can see I have lots of things in here. And I'm marking my borders in numbers. So the first border is a white border. And so I have one white border. And then I have two yellow border. And then I have two yellow border, and it's the cropped portion. And then I've got the two yellow border on the north part. And the two yellow, you can, you can have quite a few, and I'm keeping the names such that I can recognize exactly what it is. But then three, there's several different pieces of three, etc. And so you can have as many different parts and pieces, and you can be really quite organized, and it's all right here. And then you can put that onto your computer if you want and whatnot. But once you're done using this quilt, you can delete that folder and clear up all that space. Your thumb drive again. So there you go. I hope that was helpful. Um, you know, some of us are really organized and really linear and um, concrete sequential, and some of us are just random and abstract. And anyway, it took me a long time to figure out how to do that so that it was really easy and organized to find them again. But yeah, hope that helps you out. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Toodaloo.